So what's a soda worth these days? A Dr. Pepper cost one Valley man his car. Yeah, somebody stole it while he was inside a gas station, and days later, he had to watch a police chase, and then as police shot at the guy driving his stolen car. Now, Jason Valentine is in Chandler with this story that you will only see on ABC 15. A guy pulled up here to get some gas, lost his car in the process. At pump number 12, a tough lesson about leaving the keys in your car. When I see that I'm the only person at the gas station, I go inside to get a Coke. He actually settled on the Dr. Pepper you see in this picture, and it turned out it was a pricey pop. When I come back out, the gas pump is on the ground, and my car is gone. Ralph Amsden called police and decided he would never see the car again until a week later. So I call Mesa police, and, uh, and, and the woman says, you might see this one on the news. Turns out Mesa PD spotted the stolen car at a budget motel. They say this guy, Timothy Childress, tried to get away, hitting a car and swerving toward police officers who opened fire. We're talking about like Grand Theft Auto, helicopter. This isn't an everyday thing for me. The short chase ended at a mobile home park. Childress was arrested, police say, tested positive for meth, and had two guns in the car, including an assault rifle. The thing that was probably the most disturbing is there was no hesitation on their part, and I've got a baby car seat in the back. You know, my. my Nine-month-old daughter could have been in there, and they wouldn't have even hesitated to just take off. Ralph's Mercedes now with a couple bullet holes in it, but the important part: as long as I'm good and my kids are good and my wife is good, um, then then I'm good, and so I'm able to laugh about it. I'm Jason Valentine, ABC 15.